Here are this week's TV Talk headlines for February 18, 2016. FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler announced that a unanimous decision to research the state of diversity in television programming will be moving forward. FCC leaders are very aware that this inquiry comes at a time when questions of diversity and opportunities for female directors surround this year's Oscar nominations. It isn't clear at this time what actions the FCC might take once the results of the study are complete. Hunger Games' Joss Hutcherson is set to play the lead role in Hulu's new pilot, Future Man, from Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Hutcherson plays Josh Futterman, a socially awkward janitor by day and a gambling genius by night. Josh Future Man Futterman soon discovers he must use his video gamer's superpowers to defeat mysterious visitors set to destroy the human race. Hutcherson will produce through his Turkey Foot Productions. Rogan and Goldberg will executive produce as well as direct the pilot. Sundance TV announced a new television advertising campaign starring Weird Al Yankovic that will launch today. The network commissioned Weird Al to develop an original jingle and star in a custom video featuring local, operator-specific channel numbers. The song, written and performed by Yankovic, helps viewers find the channel and never, ever forget its location, including the suggestion that viewers carve their specific Sundance TV channel number on their foreheads, which the network does not actually endorse. The spot launches in advance of the network's newest original series, Happen Leonard, which is set to premiere Wednesday, March 2nd. ABC Entertainment Chief Paul Lee has stepped down after six years in charge of programming, with ABC naming VP of Drama Development Channing Dungey his successor. Dungey will be the first African American to lead the entertainment division of a major broadcast network. In her tenure at ABC, she developed such hits as Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, Once Upon a Time, and Quantico. In a statement, Dungey said, I'm thrilled and humbled that Disney Media Network's co-chairman Ben Sherwood has entrusted me with this tremendous opportunity, and I am truly grateful to Paul for being a valued mentor and friend. ABC is currently in last place in ratings among the top four networks, so this change-up may be just what the doctor ordered. The Walking Dead returned last Sunday night for the second half of season six to slightly less viewers than the mid-season finale in November. On Wednesday, Nielsen released its live plus same-day estimates, which showed an average rating of 6.8 million in the adults 18 to 19 demographic and 13.7 million overall. Those numbers are down 15% in the demo and 12% total from the mid-season finale ratings, but it still ruled the day which may have suffered from being Valentine's Day in the middle of a holiday weekend. The episode No Way Out was a critical success, earning a fresh score of 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Check out more TV news at RottenTomatoes.com. 